As we saw in the previous video, Adobe Bridge really exists for us to locate the asset we need as quickly and as efficiently as possible. So not only can we see instantaneous thumbnails, we can also filter out for the type of content we're looking for. In the filter tab on the far left hand side, if I expand open file type, then you can see from here that we have one Illustrator document, 30 JPEGs and one Photoshop document in this particular folder. So if I want just a PSD, I can click on the checkbox and now my one and only PSD, I don't have to fish for in that list. I can just reveal it and then double left click on the thumbnail and it opens up in its corresponding application. So nice and efficient. If I close that one down and go back to Adobe Bridge, you can turn filtering off by turning off the checkbox, of course. So we can browse for files based on their creation date. You'll have a series of dates in there that you can turn the checkboxes on and off for. And we also have another one in here, which is really handy, which is orientation. So if you're looking for an image to fill, say a portrait front cover, then we can go to and turn on just the portrait images. I could add in there a square format as well. If you want to turn off multiple filtering checkboxes at the same time, you can head right down to the bottom right hand side and then click on clear all filters. And just to mention that here, the illustrator document we have in this folder, I could open that from here as well. And any other file, you know, Adobe Bridge is not an Adobe file browser. It's an any file browser. So whether that is an illustrator file, a Microsoft Word, Excel spreadsheet, it will like to open up the document in its corresponding application. So filtering can be an incredibly handy feature to utilize.